everybody, it's Jeff and Justin, the Frustrated rock stars, back again with some talk and roll. Talk and roll. We love it. We talk music, rock and roll, country, even a little hip-hop. Here in the comfy confines of Sandy Springs at On The Rocks Tavern, as always. Excellent. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about, hmm, let me think. Something looks different on you. What is that that we're... I grew a beer. He grew a beer. I've never had a beer. We no, took, you have. No, we took a couple weeks off, and I just let it grow, and I thought it looked kind of cool. The ladies seem to like it. So, yeah. So my mother and sister, of course, is what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I have a beard now, and so I thought, well, when we did put the hat back on, we did hats, famous rock and roll hats. So why not do famous, famous rock and roll beards? Rock and roll beard. Now, should we extend it to facial hair or beards? Because you could technically we do two podcasts: one on beards, one on other facial hair. Well, this I thought, should know, be a facial, a of, a facial hair. There's talk. been a lot of famous beards in rock history that I think have played a part in the success of the bands. Oh, you think it's so much of a yeah. image or whatever that it actually affects the well, band? Let me throw out the, the obvious choice: ZZ Top. Yes. Yeah, those beards, they're they're recognized for those beards. Yes. It's cool, it's their look, nobody else can do it. Right. And anytime you can be the one person that has cornered the market on a look, they own the beard look. Right. And they have they have not changed it through all the years. That's what's so amazing. Even when, you know, Gillette offered them uh, Billy Gibbons and uh, Dusty Hill a million dollars each to shave in a Gillette commercial back in 84. You know, the weird and thing is... And they turned it down. The weird thing is, the one guy you didn't mention is the drummer, Frank Beard, who's the one guy without a beard. Right. And his name's Beard. He's Mustache. Got... Yeah, but he doesn't have the he beard. He doesn't have the beard. That is the irony of ZZ Top. And you know, just like Kiss, they can play into their 50s and 60s because just like Kiss can hide behind the makeup, they can hide behind their beards. I didn't think about it. And exactly. you can't see how old really they are. Because you see they're old. They, but they look the same. They've, yeah. they've always looked 55. Yeah. <laughs> Though I guess they'll look 55 and go into their 80s. That's amazing. That's a famous beer. Yeah, 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 that's, the, yeah that's definitely the, the main one. I also was thinking about uh, Charlie Daniels. Yes. He's got that scraggly beard that I think really identified him with the, the real South, the, the Southerner, the, I don't know, it was just something really rebel and just, well, yeah, a lot of the country guys, uh, Hank Jr., Right. Bo Cephas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually has a beard to cover scars. Right, from the accident. Yes, from the accident, right, because he used to not have a beard. He's missing an eye. That too. But yeah, I mean, he, had the, he had the bad accent, so yeah. he has that and, and grew a beard, and he's had that look ever since. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like his early career, he was clean shaven, right? Like five, like his dad. There, there's Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> yes, no, just kidding. Uh, another country guy you just mentioned because you want to go see him in concert, Kenny Rogers. Yeah, Kenny Rogers is known for his beard. I, I can't picture him without it. That's a good one. Now, the only thing I don't like is. No tea, right? No, no, he has a full beard. He's white. Yeah, I, know that I think white. he may have a goatee now. Right. Because he's had so many facelifts. Oh, yeah, he looks weird. He doesn't look like Kenny anymore. He looks like a pumpkin. Yeah. He looks like a pumpkin. I, 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 his face is just. That's the thing I don't get. You know, well, Kenny, you know. Well, he has that, you know. He's had that, he had that same look from like the 70s until the you know, 90s. And we don't know how old he is. He could be 78. Oh, I know, but if he didn't do the facelifts, he would probably still look like Kenny Rogers. My point is, he doesn't look like Kenny Rogers anymore. Yeah, but you We're know. at the movie Six Pack. You'll know what I mean. He doesn't look like that anymore. <laughs> he doesn't have the weathered face like, like Willie Nelson. Yeah. Just kept, he just stays weathered. That's another one now, Willie. If you see a, young, a picture of the young Willie where he's, you know, yeah. clean shaven, it's like, no, it's horrible. It's weird. It he's like in a suit. He's sitting on a bale of hay like this. Yeah. It, it just doesn't yeah. look right. Another guy that doesn't look right without his beard when you see his early career is Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead. That's a good one. He I always pictured the beard. Right. He had it until he was gray. Right. But then when you see, like, the young, it doesn't even look like him. Right. Yeah. If, you, if you see, like, the old, you know, Moby hey, Grape, Hey Dashbury era, yeah, you know, right. in the late 60s, right. and you see him, I'm like, when I first saw a picture of him, I'm like, that's not the Grateful Dead. Where's the guy with the beard? Right. Where's Jerry Garcia? Oh, that's a good one. And, you know, a lot of bands have had their beard stages. You know, look at the Beatles, of course. I didn't like that. They went through their beard stage. I don't, I don't think it worked for the Beatles. Well, they were on uh, heroin and LSD. Well, I still no. Well, you let yourself go a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but a lot of bands met. Jim Morrison, at the end, had a beard stage. Yeah. It usually comes like a couple albums in, you know, you, you know. Well, yeah. You're, you're, getting the, you're doing the drugs, you're worn out, you're well, getting older. You don't want to, uh, you, you, yeah. know, you want to hide behind something. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I think that's a good point. Well, here's my, uh, my nomination for best 80s beard, Kenny Loggins. Interesting. Can't picture him without it. No. Uh, and he was, you know, on, in videos and good look know, for him. Good look for him. Had the face for it, and that was his look. I think I, I don't know any other artist, rock That's artist, or whatever in the, the '70s. Yeah, put me on the spot here. Any other, any other artist in the '80s that 
you know, had a definable beard look. Bob Seger? Yeah. But you wouldn't really see him as much as you would have, yeah. you know, in the 70s. Like in the 70s, a lot of people had him because it was more the style in the 70s and there were no music videos. You win for now. I can't, I can't think of a... How about in the 90s? Uh, Chris that, Robinson of the Black Crows. I don't like him with a beard. It looks too scruffy. Yeah, he grew a beard. Too patchouli? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he still has a beard. He still wears yeah, a beard. You never yeah. know. He'll show up. He'll show up on like Letterman, and yeah. like you know, a T-shirt and you know, pajama bottoms and a beard to here. Yeah, I, I don't like the look on him. He's no. too skinny. You gotta have a little weight. Yeah, he'll carry a beard. Not that you have a lot of any weight. But, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have plenty. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so uh, if you want to see more podcasts just like this, you can find us all over the web. Uh, no, we got uh, you just Google us or uh, YouTube us. Uh, YouTube us the on best. MySpace. Yeah, YouTube. we got our own site. Yeah, yeah MySpace. Uh, Everywhere. It's the frustrated rock stars. Yeah, if you got one of those Zoom players or an iPod, make sure you subscribe. Leave comments wherever you want or email us info at thefrustratedrockstars.com. Thank you very much. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Dearly called her nanny goat To make a pretty baby